Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today I'll show you how to share all the linked handouts from a master handout. And this is handy when you have a bunch of handouts connected to a main one like I have in this shop's inventory. Thing is, in order for my players to open those links, the handout that the link goes to also has to be shared with them. And since I don't want to ruin any surprises about what might be coming, I don't want to share these handouts in advance. But going through and sharing each handout during the game bogs the game down. So what I'm going to do is show you a mod that lets you share all the links from a handout with just a single click. Now, because we're using mods, a pro account is required to do what I'm about to show you. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. So the first thing you want to do is come out to this GitHub page, link down in the video description. And I had a lot of help writing this mod, so a huge shout out of thanks to Timaw and the Aaron for their help in making this mod a reality. Alright, so now we need to grab the code for the mod. So what you want to do is just click on the raw button here, and then select everything, so Control A on the keyboard, and then Control C to copy it. And then come back into your Roll20 game, and come down here to Settings, Mod, API Scripts. And on this page, we're going to say New Script, we're going to paste in our code, and we're going to name it Share Linked Handouts. Come on down here, click Save, and then the sandbox is going to restart, and you'll be good to go. So now, let's actually go into our game, and launch, and here I am in my game. So let's start out by opening up this handout. And this handout is the inventory of a fence that I have in one of my games. And she has a bunch of, oh, liberated items, shall we say. And these items, as you can see, if I click on one of these links, it brings up a description and image of the item in question. And like we talked about earlier, all of these linked items have to be shared with the players in order for them to view them. So I have this handout right here, and then these are the items that she is selling. Now, let's start with the very basics, and I'll show you how to add a linked item to this handout. And there's actually a really neat little trick that I found to make handouts for your items. Uh, go into your compendium and search for the item in question. So I'm going to look for the periapt of eldritch knowledge here this is an item that's available from kobold press's vault of magic which is a really cool book if you want to check that out and what i'm going to do is actually just drag that out onto my battle map here and it opens up the handout cool close that let's go back to the journal and now you can see that we have a handout for the periapt of eldritch knowledge and I'm just going to drag that down into the Albina's inventory folder here. And I'm going to now go into my where's handout and say edit. And let's go ahead and add a new row. And to create that linked handout, what you're going to do is put in two square brackets. And in between those square brackets is the exact name of the handout that we just created. So Periapt of Eldritch Knowledge. We'll say that they have one available, and it is a 1,000 gold. Okay, and now when we click Save Changes, you can see it's turned it into a link, and when we click on it, it opens up. Fantastic. Okay, but now, how do we get it so that we can share this with our players? Well, what we're going to do is come here, again, say Edit, but go down to the GM Notes section, and on a new line, you're going to type Share underscore Linked just like this, and then save changes. Now remember, the idea here is you're building this handout during your prep time, so at game time, you're going to open your handout again, and when you reopen the handout, you're going to find that that share linked that we just added has been changed into two hyperlinks, share linked handouts and hide linked handouts. And so now we can click Share Linked Handouts, and you can see over here that it has shared Elmina's wares and all of the linked handouts with our players. So this blue dot means that it's been shared with our players. So now we can show this to players, they can review the inventory, they can click on any one of the links, and they'll be good to go. And if you realize you made a mistake, or let's say that the players have made Elmina angry and she's no longer selling to them, you can click Hide Linked Handouts, and that will go through and set each of these handouts so they are no longer shared with your players. 
Couple of other things here, it doesn't matter where you have the linked handouts, they don't all have to be in the same folder. I'm keeping everything in the same folder just for my own organizational purposes, but if we want to, we can add another row here. Let's add another row below, and we're gonna put in those lodestone caltrops that you see over on the right of my screen. And sure, let's say one of those and 150 gold just for illustrative purposes. Save that. You can see now it's added that link here. If I click on the link, great. And I can just say share linked handouts again. And it will include lodestone caltrops in this. So you don't have to recreate the share linked bit that we did earlier. Any link that you add to this handout going forward will get included in the sharing and hiding process that the mod provides. Also, just worth mentioning that this show to players function can't be emulated by the API. So when you click share linked handouts, it shares everything with your players, but if you want to actually have them see this handout to start with, like, hey, you're in Elmina's store, then click show to players, and then that will pop it up on their screen so they can see it, and then they can click on any one of these links. So there you have it, sharing all the linked handouts from a master handout with just a single click. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, folks, have a great day.